Now I'm going to talk about how you can uh, create constraints in Hypermesh. It is always advisable to have a separate uh, load collector for constraints. So we'll create one now. We're going to go to the empty space in the model browser, right click, create, load collector. We are going to give it a name, constraints, enter. The bracket uh, is mounted fixed by four bolts, which are these bolts. And uh, these bolts are modeled uh, by RB2 element. Uh, so first thing we need to check, we need to check into which component the new elements will go. And we can see that they're going to go to bracket, which we don't want. We want them to go to RB2. So we'll click the RB2. We're going to right click on it and make current. So now all the elements which are created are going to go to RB2. Next step is going to be to go to mesh, create, on the elements, rigids, which is RB2. As our independent node, we'll select from the list calculate node. And this way, the origin of the hole is automatically calculated. As our dependent, we're going to select from the list multiple nodes, which is going to give us an option to select uh, more than one node. Then we'll zoom in into the our first hole. We select uh, one node, then we click on nodes by face. Now all the nodes are selected. We keep element type as RB2 and all degrees of freedom are selected. All the DOFs, we click create. Now we move to the next one. And the last one. Now we click return. We fit the model. And now we can see that now we have four RB2 elements which are stored in the RB2 components collector. The next step is uh, to create a constraint at these nodes. So we'll do this by going to BCS, so boundary conditions, create constraints. Then we're going to click create and under nodes, you're going to click we have to zoom in to be able to now we select the center node. We select all degrees of freedom. Load type is SPC and we click create. Now we can see that our first constraint is created. Now we can create a second one. We zoom in. We click the independent node. We check that all the DOFs are selected and SPC. Click create. Now we have to go back, fit the model, and now we can see that we have created four uh, constraints and they're stored in the constraints uh, load collector. Uh, just a note, uh, the independent uh, node is constrained in all six degrees of freedom, where the other nodes are constrained in only in three because we have solid elements.